What's up, YouTube? It's PZS in here. Well, today I am going to be doing a little bit of an experiment. Um, as you guys know, I have a problematic iMac here. I have mentioned the problem several, several times uh, in the past. I'm not really even going to bother. But basically, uh, it does have a problem that kind of makes it almost unusable, but, you know, it, it can be used in safe mode. Let's just put it that way. Um, but in normal mode, <laughs> you're not going to get by without, uh, you know, you're not going to get by using it for anything really much if you keep it on for over, like, 30 seconds or something. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, for, I have, uh, decided that, uh, actually I decided kind of just now that I would try a bit of an experiment. And as you can see from the, uh, from the title, it involves running something called Ubuntu. Alright, and I happen to have a CD right here for Ubuntu. Can you see that? It says Ubuntu on it. It's 11.4, or 11.04, which is the latest version. Uh, I burned this over the weekend, and I tried it out on my computer out there. Now, one day I will have to make a video talking about my experiences with it. I will have to say they were quite negative. <laughs> um, quite negative, but I'm not blaming the operating system. I really like the operating system. It's just that I didn't know what I was doing completely when I installed it. <clears throat> it, that's for another video, but basically I could not get back into Windows, and I wanted Ubuntu just to be a side thing. So anyway, yeah, because I am, you see, I've already tried this out earlier. <clears throat> I've already tried booting from the from the CD, or actually this is a DVD, and believe it or not, it actually worked, because what's weird is that if I plug, if I insert this into the iMac when it's turned on and in Mac OS, it doesn't know how to read it. It's just like gives it just stutters a little bit and just eventually quits and doesn't even bother trying to read it. But it will boot from it, so I guess I don't know. It's just kind of interesting. <clears throat> so I have got. <clears throat> um, I'm going to try it out now. When I when I booted from it earlier, I did try it, but only for very light computing. I I really wasn't trying to push anything at all. Just a very simple computing experience, just basically opened it and then turned it off. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, because I'm going to be running an entirely different operating system on here, and I'm not actually going to be installing it yet, uh, I'm not going to do that until I get it fixed, obviously. Um, but, because I am going to be running basically a completely different operating system, I cannot use this wireless keyboard and my magic mouse. Now, I, I will be able to use my magic mouse eventually. Uh, eventually it'll recognize it and say, you want to install some hardware. Uh, but I cannot get the uh, the Bluetooth keyboard to pair up, so in order for me to at least get started, I plugged in my Apple Wired keyboard that I stole from the PC. One day, I will be getting one of these for my iMac. Um, I, I just... wireless keyboards, they're nice, but I just don't like it at all. Uh, and I also have this mouse right here, which I need to turn on. That's important. So, let's go ahead and give this thing a shot. Alright, so if you... Let's go ahead and do this. Alright, so basically, if you don't if, if you don't know how to get to the boot menu in Mac OS, it's pretty simple. Right when you turn it... Basically, when you turn it on, press and hold down the Alt key. Alright, and you should see a mouse. I, mean, I don't know if you'll see it or not. But I'm holding down the Alt key. There it is. You can see right there, booting Mac OS 10. I don't really have a lot of time to waste here, gotta be kind of quick. So here is my Ubuntu CD. Going into there. Alright, so I did manage, even though I couldn't really do anything, because it, uh, you know, it recognized my mouse first, which is kind of interesting, because I couldn't use my keyboard, and it asked me to enter in a pin, but I couldn't enter the pin because the keyboard wasn't paired, so that was kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, I basically just turned it on and then turned it off. I had to do a, I actually had to do a hard reset to turn it off because it, it wants you to hit enter after you reject the CD, but I couldn't hit enter, so the CD ejected automatically. Now, as you can see right here, this is interesting, so we can zoom in. No, but the CD itself is labeled Windows. I thought that was interesting, but I don't know. I kind of thought instead of just showing Windows, it would show 
the actual name of the CD, but I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, here you go. This is exciting to see. And look at this. Check it out. If you're a... Ooh, that doesn't look right. Um, it looks blue on the um, camera, but in reality... Well, actually, over here, it looks kind of gray. But it's actually a purple screen. It's just working on some stuff here. It's kind of weird. Um, sometimes it loads into a menu that it's about to load up into, and sometimes it does. Actually, you know what? It was because I was holding shift. I was holding shift because I wanted to boot in safe mode. <laughs> um, I was like, uh, I was, I've not, I actually have not been holding shift at all, but, oh well, I can't get to the menu, I guess. But I will, I'm not going to be installing this operating system, I'm just going to be trying it out. So this is a long wait, so I'll speed up this. This is a 24 inch screen, by the way. I have to say, it looked really cool on a 24 inch screen, even though I didn't do anything, it looked really cool. Anywho. <clears throat> I don't know, it might, it could, it, it, it is entirely likely that it will crash on me here because, uh, you know, I hadn't really turned the computer on at all since, like, two days ago. Uh, I didn't turn it on at all yesterday. So it's been sitting idle for over a day, and it's had time, plenty of time to get really nice and cooled down, so, I don't know, we'll see. But, who knows? Uh, I did go ahead and boot it up normally after I tried it earlier, and it wouldn't boot up. It just glitched out on me and everything. Yeah, if you're going to be uh, running from a CD, uh, if you're going to boot from a CD, it's going to take a lot longer, as you can see. Ah, there's something all you Linux fans recognize. Or I guess Ubuntu fans. Quick question while this is happening. Is there... Can I get just straight, raw, completely completely raw Linux. I mean, I've never been able to find just straight Linux, ever. So is that actually, is it actually a possibility for me to run off of that? Or do I have to use a distro like Ubuntu or Linux Mint or Lubuntu? <laughs> I don't know all the names of it, like, those are pretty much all I know. <clears throat> Alright, let's try Ubuntu. Ooh, this mouse is kind of fast. So I clicked on Try Ubuntu, so basically the CD has on it a complete copy of this operating system that can be ran. So I'm just going to be running the operating system from the CD. So it's going to be a little slow. I've tried it before. It was kind of slow. Um, but it's the best you can do without installing it, actually. So that's something I really like about Linux, um, or at least Ubuntu lets you do it. Can we see it again? I don't... I know Ubuntu is technically Linux, but I don't know how to, where to actually get um, straight up Linux, but I do like this about Ubuntu, that you can go ahead and try it um, before you actually use it. So that is really nice, but yeah, check it out. Linux on a 24 inch screen. Let me go ahead and zoom in the camera for you guys a bit, so it's probably a little less washed out. So we're still waiting takes it obviously since it's booting from the sea but I mean as you can see it's not actually gr glitching out on us yet I mean I remember when I was booting into Windows when I first got it it had a Windows 7 partition on it I never saw the Windows 7 interface ever only thing I heard was the Windows 7 noise um, which is really loud actually through these speakers but holy cow come on Load. It's taking years. Actually, the CD isn't actually making any noise. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. There you go. Hmm. Oh, uh, if you just saw my head, like a silhouette of my head there, <laughs> I put my head up to the super drive to see if it was doing anything. And it's not. It's completely just sitting there. Let's see, if I, if I hit escape, or enter, see, install Linux, Ubuntu is grayed out, 
Oh, look at this. I don't know if you can see that. But, oh, wow. Look at that. You see that? You guys see that button okay? Look at... If you guys can make out the uh, Try Linux... Try Ubuntu button. Look at it as I mouse over it. See all these graphical artifacts on it? See that right there? There's... Oh, well... <laughs> Oh, there it is. Ah. There it happened. So, alright then. Looks like Linux. Still. There it goes. It's like revving up. It should go ahead and eject if the iMac will let it. Man, it's looking pretty crazy right now. It once the iMac ejects it, I'll do a hard reset. What a shame! I mean, I've gotten it. To, I actually got it to run earlier, but I actually got it to not load up the particular user interface that it did load. Loaded a different one, so yeah. I just thought of something. When I was trying to get earlier and I had this keyboard attached, I hit Control Alt Delete to get to the shutdown menu and it worked, but I couldn't do anything. So maybe this was connected to it. It just didn't recognize anything. I guess it just didn't have proper drivers or something. That's weird. So I can eject it. I guess not. Looks like hard resetting is what's going to have to happen. So now let's see if I can at least get to the boot screen so I can get my CD back. No, I do not think so. Takes it longer to get to there. I think I see the white screen because you're kind of facing after me. Well, it is a white screen. <laughs> Whatever. File. This way I can get my CD back. Uh, yeah, I should be able to. I know. It's currently reading it. So yeah, as it turned out, unfortunately, it was an epic fail. But you know what? I did get it to run on it earlier, and it worked. I guess it worked okay. I couldn't really do anything, like I said, but... Maybe one day I'll have a video of Ubuntu actually running on it, if you guys want to see that. Anyway, there was just my little experiment. It failed for some reason, but what can you do? Not much, I guess. Anywho, thank you for watching. I'm going to go give my... PC back its uh, keyboard, so adios.